I mean, it's not that, like, I, I, I never planned on, on seducing anybody. I just figured that one day when I was fucking rich, it would be really easy to seduce somebody because I'd have all this money. And that's what, like, people love, right? Money, like, just, I figured I'd be able to just, like, walk around town flashing fucking Benjamins and just have people, like, crawling all over my cock. Doesn't work that way, sadly, I'm discovering. Oh, that's right, my grandpa is a ghost ice cream. And he shows up at, like, really inconvenient times. Like, I had, like, a fucking inventory full of cheese that I needed to take down to the basement and put in the fucking, in the, in the, the, the casks so I could age them and, like, make, make more money. And I go into the house and I'm, like, I'm lugging all this, this fucking cheese and the ghost appears in front of me. The ghost of my dead grandfather appears. And he's like, whoa. Ooh, you've made me very proud, my grandson. And I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't care. Can you get the fuck out of my way, please? So I can fucking do what I have to do? Like, about fucking 50,000 things that need to get done today. There's mayonnaise being made in the fucking mayonnaise machines. All right, I gotta go shear the fucking sheep. I don't have time to sit here and listen to a fucking doddering old moron go on about how, you know, I've somehow fucking how he approves of me from the fucking afterlife. I, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna make me fucking go find a priest to get rid of you? Or, or, or can, can you just leave on your own? Do you need, you need to make me go that far? Grandpa, time is money, you fucking geezer. Alright, I just tried to milk the sheep like a fucking moron. Sheep do not produce milk. Well, hang out, they do. Why the fuck me? Give me one good reason I can't milk my sheep. It's cutting into my profit margin. They're sitting here fucking, fucking sucking up all my goddamn oxygen. I should at least be able to squeeze some fucking milk out of them too. I spend money to make these machines, man. And they're sitting here doing nothing because you can't milk a sheep. Alright, so they're male sheep, but you're telling me you can't fucking make semen cheese? What? What, you never fucking- you, you, you never heard of semen cheese? Maybe that's because there hasn't been anybody smart enough to invent semen cheese yet. There's a reason that I'm a fucking multi-millionaire in this game, by the way. And it's not because I have bad ideas. This is one of the things that I greatly fucking resent. Because look at this, look at this fucking sloppy cunt. Look at this. Just play some geodes on my anvil. Now go on ahead and give him a whack. Pretty sure I could do this myself, but the game is making me come here and fucking pay this, this fucking chump 25 G's a pop. Okay, so you say, okay, 25 G's. He's complaining about 25 G's. Like, what, you know, what a cheap fuck, right? It took time that I had to take out of my day to come out here and fuck get these geodes bust open by this asshole when I could have did it quickly and easily at my fucking farm. And then went and did something else, but no. No, 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 no. I have to take like an hour out of my day to come over here and fucking pay this guy to do this. You, because you're not, you're, you're only thinking about what I have to pay him. You're not thinking about the money I could have made in the meantime. And that's the thing that fucking everybody in this town doesn't get. It's that time is fucking money. And that's why these people will never fucking go anywhere with their lives. That's why grandpa died a fucking loser. He died a destitute fucking loser because he couldn't fucking understand. He was like, oh, family and love and enjoying your life and, and all this fucking hokey shit. He died a poor loser and an embarrassment to the fucking family. Maybe if he did, I don't know, like a, a fucking 1%. Of the fucking work that, that, that I, as a fucking functional member of society, do. Okay? He wouldn't be dead. That's what they say. You go into fucking retirement, and then you fucking, boom, five, five years later, you're dead. How about this? He could have afforded fucking life extension, you know, technology like Walt Disney. 
And then he wouldn't have to be showing up in my house as a ghost and fucking eating into my fucking precious time to fucking gabber on about fucking your candles in the shrine. Why do we have a shrine to this fucking asshole on our farm? He was, again, he was an embarrassment to the family. I have to fucking think about him every time I look at that. It doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum, though. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Gunther, I, I, I fucking... My, my gag reflex activates at the sound of your voice every time without fucking fail. Can you do me a fucking sick favor and never attempt to speak ever again in my presence? Thank you. In fact, I'm sure it's making other people sick, so why don't you just fucking never open your mouth ever again? Which means you won't have- you won't get to eat, so you can starve to death, and then everybody wins. Listen, Pepperina, I got dirt under my fingernails and fucking coal surrounding my heart. Oh, shit. You know what that reminds me? We probably should... <sighs> right, 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 right. Hey, stop! Stop moving! Stop! Stop! I have to... I'm here to manipulate you into fucking having feelings for me. Mike, this is a beautiful gift. Thank you. Okay, uh, so... Sex? Elliot, I, I said sex? SEX! 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 GAY SEX! Well, hello, hello there, Michael. Why, why, why are you standing outside the museum screaming gay sex at the top of your lungs, young fella? Brilliant idea, because if I become mayor of Stardew Valley, then I can get rid of all those fucking pesky regulations that stop me from setting up, like, you know, fucking crab pots on every fucking inch of the river. Something about, like, overfishing or some dumb shit. And, like, fucking protected species. And, like, it's just fucking... Pansy bullshit. No. And if I become mayor, I could fucking get that shit. I could get that shit repealed. I know it. I know it. I know how to talk to these fucking dumb yokels to get them to fucking go along with my plan. It'll be super fucking easy. Oh my god. Oh, I have to make this a reality. Oh my god. I know exactly what to say to them too. Oh my god, I'll play him like fucking fiddles, all of them, it'll be fucking glorious. Then they'll be sitting there fucking like three years later wondering where all the fucking fish is while I'm fucking rolling around in my vault fucking rubbing money on my penis. Laughing all the way to the fucking bank. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what a time to be alive. Oh my god, I could get that fucking law repealed about fracking in the fucking mines. Something about the fucking drinking water. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Fucking set up the fucking hydraulic like fracking machines like in the mine right next to the river where all the fucking good shit is. Hey, if everybody in the town is fucking dead from lead in their water, I won't have any fucking competition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Capitalist baby. Well, someone in chat said that if the whole town is dead, I won't have anybody to, to buy anything from me. Dude, I ship all my fucking products out of this this town. I mean, you think I give a fucking shit about this town? I, I use this town to fucking, you know, like, the, the, when it's convenient for me. I, I don't need this town at all anymore. There are trucks in this universe. How do you think we're- you, you think this town isn't big enough to buy all the fucking produce that I sell? They ship it out! In fact, I barely sell any produce in this town. I can't remember the last time I sold produce to somebody in this town. It all gets shipped to the big cities, man. These fucking people are nothing to me. They're nothing to me. The people of Flint, Michigan. I mean Stardew Valley. Look at these fucking old fools. In their graves because they didn't know how to make money. Poor bastards. Horse, take a shit on this man's grave. <laughs> what do you mean, disrespectful? Do it! I own you! <laughs> I 
<laughs> Joja. Joja Mart. They said work for Joja Mart. Move up the fucking ladder. Fuck that. I'm gonna put them out of business. I am Joja Mart. I am the one who knocks. Marnie. I I have no words for how much I fucking despise you. I'm, I'm not kidding. She caused me, all, all jokes aside, early in the game when I didn't have fucking $2 million and I was fucking scraping every little fucking penny that I had to try to fucking afford the, the, the things that I needed to fucking have my God-given right to fucking make as much money as possible in this world, okay? And I had to spend fucking thousands upon thousands of dollars to buy, to buy fucking, to buy that, that, that hay from her? And she wasn't there half the time, which cost me money because the animals didn't eat, hence not producing the, the, the fucking the eggs and shit and milk for me. She's probably at this point one of my most despised characters in a video game. Oh, okay, oh, kidding, kidding aside, like this is not in character right now. She, that character really fucked me early on in this game. True story. Liv Lavy Dragon get, knows what I'm talking about. She's never there. What is that? It's like when you go to the DMV and you're like, I need my license re renewed, and they look at you and they're like, uh, I'm on my break. So no, no, you don't get to do that. I'm standing in front of you. Like, I've, I've had her, I've walked up to the fucking counter, she looked me dead in the eyes, said nothing, and walked away from me. And you run a business like that? These fucking people. They deserve to be put out of business. Don't have any fucking pity for these people. 